Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Al, and a brand new mode for the patch 10 to 7 has recently been announced. After the release of Plunderstorm, a new game mode added for the patch 10 to 6, Blizzard has been carefully teasing that a new PvE focused event that is very similar to Plunderstorm is going to be coming out at some point in the near future. And it looks like we finally got our very first reveal at a new WoW Remix mode, which seems like a new leveling adventure that allows players to go through the entirety of Mr. Pandaria leveling a brand new character, obtaining new items and powerful gems to fully customize the playstyle while playing through the entire catalog of MOP content. Everything that is currently available in retail, but also some of the stuff that has been removed over time. And with it being a new leveling adventure, players will actually be able to take characters created and level through this new mode into the very next expansion of The War Within, while also getting an opportunity to earn a variety of different Mr. Pandaria rewards from transmog to mounts and even more. So for today's video, I wanted to do my overview of the patch 10 to 7 WoW Remix Mr. Pandaria mode and go over all of the features, some of the rewards and everything we know about this mode so far. But right before that, most of you guys watching these kind of updates are still not subscribed. However, the more of you remind, the more of you do. So let's keep it going. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell if you're watching these videos anyway. Especially if you want to get more regular content regarding Dragonflight Patch 10 to 6, 10 to 7, Season 4, or any of the future War Within updates. WoW Remix Mr. Pandaria is a new mode coming to the patch 10 to 7, which is very similar to Plunderstorm in the same way that it's experimental new content that will be available for anyone with a WoW subscription. This includes retail players, but also classic players alike. Where Plunderstorm was primarily a PvP mode with it being a battle royale, this mode of Remix Mr. Pandaria is mostly a PvE mode instead. Some of its main features is going to include you creating a brand new character for this experience, kind of like you do with Plunderstorm, and you level this character from level 10 to 70. This new level and experience is going to be accelerated, allowing you to take on quests, scenarios, dungeons, and even raids at a much more rapid pace. During your journey, you'll be able to collect mountains of loot and even collect powerful items from everything, including chests, quests, creatures, bosses, and even dungeon instances. You'll be able to customize your items, allowing you to power up your character in wilder ways than ever before to take on tougher and tougher content, doing some of the more wilder things that you would see in Bloodstorm, but through gear that you find along the way. While leveling, any items that you find that you do not want can be converted into a new currency of bronze to buy cosmetics, which we'll talk a bit about later towards the end part of the video. And also, you'll be able to keep everything you collect from this mode and take all of your transmogs and items into the next expansion of War Within. Next, I want to go over into a little bit more details regarding every feature of this new experience, starting with this accelerated leveling content. Players will be able to make a brand new character at level 10 for this experience, which makes it fairly easy for classic and retail players to both jump into since you don't need to have an established higher level main to participate in this event. Now, all of the characters created in this remixed version of Mr. Pandaria can later be converted into retail characters for you to take forward into the War Within expansion. In a way, this new mode offers a new way of leveling additional characters where unlike Plunderstorm, those characters are locked just for plundering. But all Remix characters can actually be taken out of Remix into the next expansion once you complete the entire Remix experience, which allows players to have an easier way to jump in and level a brand new character in preparation for the new expansion, which means 10 to 7 is going to offer quite a bit of a leveling catch-up. We will be leveling through Mr. Pandaria's zones and we will experience the entire collection of Mr. Pandaria's content. This includes the basic Mr. Pandaria zones from Jade Forest, Valley of the Four Winds, Crassering, Kunlai, Townlong, Dread Waste, and even the Vale of Eternal Blossoms, but also other aspects of expansion like the Landfall Campaign of the Patch 5.1. The Isle of Giants, the Big Dinosaur Island, Timeless Isle, Isle of Thunder, every Mr. Pandaria scenario, which were kind of like a dungeon light three man experiences, every Mr. Pandaria dungeon, including Scholomance, Scarlet Halls, and the Scarlet Monastery, as well as every MOP raid from the Mogashan Vaults, Heart of Fear, Terrace, Throne of Thunder, Siege of Argrimmar, and the heroic version of these raids at level 70, where you'll be able to collect experience and rewards from all of these activities. 
And as you quest, loot Pandaria's treasures, defeat creatures and bosses, you can earn a variety of items. A lot of the items you'll be able to collect will have unique gem sockets and will slot in powerful primordial gems in order to help customize your character. However, those of you that played in the Dragonflight patch 1007 and have picked up the Onyx, Anulet and messed around with some of its elemental gems, then some of you will actually be familiar behind the concept of this gem type system as it'll function very similar to an Onyx, Anulet and its gems but in a more powerful version. But the basic concept will be to get items with sockets and then socket those items with gems to grant your character additional abilities. Some of the examples include meta gems such as Lifestorm which summons a storm that calls down bolts of lightning all around the character, dealing nature damage to all enemies. During the storm, three flowers will go around the caster. After five seconds, these flowers will bloom, doing a ton of healing to you and your allies, while also granting you guys additional haste. A thundering orb gem will transform the player into a thundering orb, which will deal nature damage to all targets, while slowing down the player, though making them immune to crocodile effects and reducing damage taken by 50% or a gem that spawns an Oblivion Sphere, creating an orb of void that increases all crit damage taken by foes for 10 seconds, and after 4 seconds the orb explodes, dealing a ton of shadow damage. Then you have Primordial Gems which will primarily function to add elemental attacks to your basic abilities, with gems such as Frost Gems primarily slowing down enemy attacks and enemy movement, while Fire Gems might start a wildfire that spreads quickly amongst enemy targets. Then we have Tinker Gems which provide mostly utility, things like shielding the player or providing you with leech once your health drops below a certain threshold or even cause your critical strikes to explode enemies in a variety of ways. Then we have Cogwheel Gems which are mostly for movement purposes with abilities such as teleporting or maybe allowing the player to sprint quickly or dash around from left to right but these will either functionally increase your movement in combat or they will give you much better traversal skills to cover large distances very quickly. Next, let's talk about the best part, which are the rewards. And from this new mode, you'll be able to earn a variety of different rewards, such as titles, transmugs, and even unreleased color variants of older Mesopandaria mounts, as well as a lot more, all by completing activities and earning achievements within WoW Remix Mesopandaria. This includes a recolor of the Mesopandaria Phoenix mount, as well as a golden celestial serpent. Any items and gear you collect in this mode can also be added to your transmog collection, though any items you don't necessarily want to wear, maybe they just don't fit your build, can then be converted into a new currency called bronze. This currency can then be traded to unlock account bound cosmetics for every one of your characters. Traveling through Mitsupandari you'll find this new bazaar set up in every zone of the continent where you can find some vendors that will happily take bronze off of your hands. These vendors will have class specific transmog items, Mr. Pandaria mounts, toys and even a chicken coop backpack. And also there's a quote in this blue post that says players will also be able to purchase items that were previously unobtainable, which could mean a variety of things. For now we don't really know exactly what these unobtainable rewards are going to be, but there's plenty of players out in the community right now speculating as to what these items may end up being. But for now, that's going to be everything we've got so far regarding a new mode coming out for the patch 10 to 7, which should hopefully be coming out to PTR testing sometime in the near future. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to handle this event, if it is going to be something that you can test ahead of time, or are they going to keep it more secretive, similar to Plunderstorm, where everybody is going to be able to experience it all at once, once 10 to 7 officially goes live. But if anything, we'll try to keep you guys updated with this as best as possible on this channel. So subscribe if you want to see more 10 to 7 remix updates. As per usual, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. And as always, in the description of every single video and live stream, we have a link to our Discord community channel. Probably the best place to reach out to me directly in case you want to let me know what you thought about this video or hang out with the rest of the community to discuss some of the upcoming changes. Join our Discord to become part of the community. But otherwise, thank you all so much for watching this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in another video.